Hello Valued Viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today is a really interesting war game simulation. We're going to look at the prospected sending of modernised American Patriot air defence systems to Ukraine. Just a couple of weeks ago, President Biden said that he was going to send Patriot missiles over to Ukraine for self-defence. We want to see how well this will stop Russian traditional aircraft incursions into Ukraine. The first thing to say is we've already done something similar here. Could Russian Su-25s operate within US Patriot and Stinger networks? And it was a good bit of fun, but it wasn't really relevant. The Patriot system we had access to at the time was the original Mark I system, nearly 40 years old. We now have a modernized 2020s system, Pac-2 GEM, and pack three MSE, what would actually be supplied and used in 2020s. As well as that, the technology we had when we ran this is you would have single sites that would not talk to each other. Now we have modernized 2020 sites that can data link to each other and act as an integrated air defense system. So completely scratch everything you saw here, we're starting again. First, we'll look at the differences between the old and the modernized Patriot, and then we'll look at the scenario today. So, we already said that previously we had the original version. Now we have a modernized. The Pac-2 is the long-range variant. It has about the same range as the original Patriot, about 70 or 80 miles, and the missile does about the same speed, but the guidance is very different. Patriot Pac-2 GEM uses TVM, track via missile. This means that with a modernized system, when it fires its Pac-2 missile at us, we in the aircraft being fired upon will not get a radar warning. The first thing we'll know is when that missile hits us in the face. Now that's a huge game changer in terms of killing efficiency and makes it really hard for an aggressor because he doesn't know when he's being fired upon. The Pac-3 MSE is not TVM and you will get a warning when Pac-3 is fired at you, but Pac-3 is not really anti-aircraft, it's mainly anti-ballistics, anti-missile. Pac-2 is what's really going to be firing at us today. And, like I said, we can now have IADs. So we've got, for instance, in this scenario, a Patriot here, a Patriot 60 miles out here, a Patriot 50 miles out here. They can now data link to each other with modern technology and they can act as a complete network. So for instance, let's say we were flying along here and we attacked this system here, well it would just turn its radar off and then this one would turn its radar on and shoot us from the side and this one would realize what's going on. They're all sharing information from each other's radar. A network is almost exponentially harder to attack than just a single 40 year old site. So that is why it's gonna be so much harder and so much more relevant to today's warfare. So, for today's scenario, we're in 2023 modernized layered Patriot IAD in southeast Ukraine. This line here is the disputed border. Russia occupies this area here, Ukraine on the east side of the border. Patriot, we have three linked sites, north site, east site, south site. Each contains Pac-2 and Pac-3 launches. The range is about 80 miles and that is shown by these large red rings here here and here. In fact, you can see we're starting here. We're actually starting within the range of Pac-2. But remember, TVM requires line of sight and the Earth just so happens to be curved. So there's no way, as long as we fly low, they're going to be able to shoot us at this kind of range. We will be able to get moderately close at low level. So as well as full overlap from the Pac-2 and Pac-3, we also have closer range defense. Iris T SLS. You can see these guys in here which will be covering the last of the six targets. And for real close-in defense, Gepard, which will also be covering the last of the six targets, all of which have been supplied. Gepard and Iris T have been supplied by Germany. And of course, US is supplying a much more expensive Patriot system. What are we actually doing today? We are taking off from our side of the border. We're taking off from a road simply because there are no air bases in the area to use. We've got a mixture of Su-25 Frogfoot with a mixture of legacy weapons, MiG-29 variants with some legacy weapons. We don't want to start chucking cruise missiles and stuff. We want to get airplanes in there with legacy weapons and see how they can perform against modern Patriot. Also a legacy flanker platform with weapons as well. Our task is to attack six bases, each base sequentially 10 miles closer to the heart of the network. So base one is 60 miles out from the heart of the network, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10 miles out. Obviously, the closer we move in every 10 miles, the harder it's going to get. Note, all of the bases are within the range of the Pac-2 GEM. 
The bases themselves are nothing special. They are just 10 unarmored vehicles and five oil drums. So destroying them is going to be pretty easy. It's destroying them within the air defense that makes it difficult. We're going to try it for the first time now. Operating with legacy platforms, i.e. close in, using our eyes on target. Can anyone make a prediction at which range we are going to stop becoming effective and start dying? Uh, 30 miles. I was going to say 40. I mean, it's all about how good we fly. If we fly badly and too high, we'll get shot at 60. If we fly super well and really low, we might even get to 20, guys. Like I said, we haven't tested it, so I don't know. I think, I think we might be able to take the SAM system out. Wow. There will be no respawning. If we all die, then we'll all start again. That will allow us to keep it scientific. We've got um, flankers. We're really heavily laden flankers, by the way. Loads of bombs and rockets and stuff like that. We've got fulcrum with rockets. We've got SU-25s with rockets and bombs. Push, please lead us out um, once you're airborne. Get ready to be slow and on the way to waypoint one, please. Good luck, everyone. Why are we operating from a road? Uh, there are no bases nearby, and I didn't want to have to remake the mission. So there you go. Being, being slow will be no problem. Good. Go on, boys. That's my beautiful boys. Say that pilot's not here. Where the hell is pilot? Away from our computer. Not acceptable. Well done, guys. I'm so proud. Brings a tear to my eye. Right, down to 200 feet push. And let us know your vector when you're on it, please. Ah, I'm like a proud father duck. Cap is punching it. And oh, I crashed zero, on one, zero. zero. <laughs> All right, wait, um, Wardog, wait uh, for me to take off and then you're allowed another one. I'm aware how hard this is. Okay, well, you can go again. We won't count it. Make it uh, 358. 358, Roger. Uh oh, that's a tire gone already. Uh, yeah, our flankers are very heavily laden today. So, burst tires. You know what? Burst tires are going to be the least of our problems. You know what's going to be the most of our problems? Pack 2 GEM, Pack 3 MSE both completely complete swines of missiles would not want to be fighting against a modern US Patriot IADS. Well, I think we'll be fine. We're literally doing it right now, so I don't know why I'm even saying that. Seventy kilometers. Some of you are a bit high, I'll start coming down. Those Patriots are real swines. A flanker is a a wallowy bucket at this speed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. She's a trimmer she's out. Grab the 29. She's a very... She's, out. she's not fly-by-wire. She's an old analog 80s platform. Does anyone she know... is fly-by-wire, though. No. Um, uh, does anyone know if FU, SU-35 is full fly-by-wire? I'm assuming it is. I don't think it's really fly-by-wire sock. It's kind of... It's more augmented, like the F-15, my understanding of it is. Okay. Well, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I have read a full book on flankers, and I, I did understand it at one point. But, I must admit, it's been a while. They were augmented, like the, the C's are, were augmented, but the Strike Eagles and the EX's are Full digital Is now. That right? I didn't know Strike Eagle was fly by the wire. That's amazing. Fair enough. I was unaware of that. In fact, I'm really surprised about that. But it's um, CF's curvature. We've got to use value viewers. That's the one weakness of Patriot, at least as we've got it set up. It can't our Patriot can't accept um donor from AWACS. So one in fact I don't think I don't even think because of TVM I don't even think the real one can. I guess that'd be one weakness of 
Patreon. I'm not, I'm not totally up to date, so let me know your thoughts on it, viewers. Oh, I'm saying Greta, Greta would not approve of my choice of playing. Right. I should approve of any of this, really. I really enjoy... I, um, I usually don't watch our videos, because I just don't... I don't watch any videos anymore, but I don't even watch our videos. But I did watch yesterday's B21 one. It was just... It was really good to watch. It was really good fun. My guy was shooting down friggin' zeros of B21s. Who does that? Guys, let's talk about our tactics when we get there. Obviously, at 60 miles, we're not going to be under huge threat. You know, we've got massive herbs curvature. But one thing, as Russia would do in real life, do north to south attacks. That will mean we've got a natural notch on, guys. Do not do east to west attacks, because that will be, obviously, frontal. Kinematic notching is really good defense. Anyone know when Patriot's going to be arriving in Ukraine? I mean, it's going to be all hushed up, I guess, in reality, but... They've got to train the crews, so it's going to be a while. Yeah, when they stuck it in Israel, they were using American crews with the Israeli commanders that would uh, give the authorization for the launch. Yeah, it's really going to cause problems for um, Russian cruise missiles, which obviously they're pretty much relying on at the moment, but Pac-3 is going to be shooting them down 30 miles. It's going to be crazy tech going on there. Uh, distance to waypoint one, please push. One eight kilometers. updated uh, the uh, database for the values of all of these planes. I had to guess how much the SU-25T costs because I couldn't find the data anywhere. I haven't put the value in for our bombs and rockets because I have no idea what those values are and they're pretty measly anyway. I have put the values of the Pac-3, Pac-2, Iris T. In fact, we can actually cheat a little bit, guys, because when we see the value of the blue losses go up, that will mean they're firing missiles at us. So that is a little bit of cheat. I mean, it doesn't tell us a lot, but at least we know when they fired a missile at us. So we know when we're going to die. Yeah within a window of kind of 30 seconds or something. I'll take uh, you it. You know how much they spent to kill you. There you go, right? American taxpayer, best taxpayer. Five kilometers, I'm leading the turn. All right. And we're 36 kilometers from the target. Obviously, guys, make sure stay on that target until I give you permission to move to the next one. Okay, radiation's coming. Everyone hit the deck. We can hear them. They can see us as our RWRs, value viewers, picking up their radar. I'm going to start with bombs, guys. I'm going to start with ripples of bombs on those drums when we get to that first one. So, bear in mind, I'm attacking those drums. Climbing up to 300 meters to do that? Yes, I will do. Twenty-five kilometers. The good Lord saw fit to give us big towers at each one just to help us visualize the target. Like I said, the targets themselves aren't meant to be tactical. They're just a target. The tactical thing is operating in the sand net. And it should be pretty realistic. I mean, Russia is using that airframe right there. In fact, not that one, but uh, another derivative of the SU-25 that we do have behind me. That is literally what they're using with pretty much the weapons that we're using today. Would they use SU-27s for this? Probably not, but it doesn't really matter. Uh-oh. Don't do it. Who crap? I, I hit a tree. Of course you did, Wardog. Get another one. Uh, because we're just so watch. far in, I'm going to wait. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm just going to watch. We've got a man down. We've got an $11 million SG-25 down. Roger, you can tell us when the missiles are fired, Wardog, because we'll know that anyway from the cheap board. You cannot tell us to dodge and stuff like that. All right, guys. Uh, break formation. Ta visual tower. Visual tower. Right, I'm setting up for my first run. Do a good thing. Right, I'm on those oil drums first of all, guys. Yep, I can see the next tower and the next tower. Careful not to go on to the next tower by accident, guys. It'll be a really easy way to mess the science up. I would oh. suggest the first run in be rockets straight on and then move left to right, notching the bombs. I want rid of my bombs. I've got to get rid of them, they're too heavy. So, right, concentrate, cap, concentrate. Cap's on target for the bombs. Launch oh my god! The pressure Launch of being... Authorized. Shack, 
things. What the hell, Fire Dad? What do you mean? I was holding steady course. Ready, you two. Get another one. Doesn't count the science. Go straight, come straight back. All right, the rest of you, carry on. Sorry, damp. Only care about only care about um, deaths to patriots. Right, all of the all drums done. Now, nice north to south attacks, please. Remember, north to south attacks take time. There's no time limit here, so just get your targets hit, and they're not going to fire back or anything. Just get nice, easy attacks. Jesus, I almost shot the MiG-29 with my rockets. Guys coming back, don't feel tempted to fly high. Stay low, stay on mill power. There's plenty of time. Remember your north to south, south attacks, guys. You can yo-yo up at this distance if you want. Launch authorized. 60 miles out. Missiles, SM2s out. Ah, oh, what are they called? Pack two out. Two million dollars. Also, it's good not to come high from the base as well, guys, because you'll mess the experiment up if they concentrate on you. Cab running in. Launch and we have to go to guns because these little targets are hard to hit. Anyone managed to catch, catch kill a vehicle? Call out. Call out. Uh, That's how you rockets do it. all over them, but missed all of them. Just got to get really accurate, guys. Launch. Just far close, Authorized. accurate, so there's not much spread. Uh, four million dollars of Patriot out. It's two million dollars per pack two. It's four million dollars per pack three. Amazingly. And it's um, 400,000 for an Iris T. Uh, confirm, Sock and Fire Dad, you're on your way back. On our way back. Confirm your load. Launch authorized. Yep. More missiles out. Yep. It's third pack three out. Yeah, for whatever reason, I was doing fine until I made my turn in for initial point. Launch authorized. Roger, roger. They, don't, they won't appear. Ground targets won't appear on the scoreboard valley viewers. I'm not sure I'm going to bother putting Launch ground vehicles in. It's just too much work. So many ground vehicles to put in. Only three pack threes out so far. Three o'clock high. Oh my god, I'm being warned. Launch There's a authorized. missile in the air and it's within 10 miles. It's within my MWS. I am ditching it. One of those pack threes got within 10 miles of its valley viewers and my MWS picked it up. And getting under 50 feet to scratch it. Launch authorized. This was scratched. That was slightly worrying, right? Three vehicles destroyed to the uh, west of the tower. All right, we should be doing better, guys. Let's get our eye in a bit better. Missile out. Yeah. Launch authorized. Travel time should be about 45 seconds, I imagine, for 60 miles. Check. Missile Anyone? defeated. Um, Wardog, can you tell us how many targets we've got left? Launch authorized. Two. Matrix, would you say it's harder in, in a real combat plane? Is it harder spotting in DCS or real life an average sized target? In real life, it's harder. The camouflage is generally a lot more effective, and the background Launch is a lot less authorized. play, there's a lot more detail, so it can be really difficult to pick up. Roger. Let's try another one. I was hoping you were going to say the other way around. Authorized. No, it is, it's not easy in DCS, but it's harder in real life if the targets of things like armor and tanks all camouflaged really difficult to pick up missile defeated Launch is that the more dead uh, is that the targets dead break uh, war dog copy right guys 270 next tower get low 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 baddies are fired break seven Launch pack authorized. something seven pack twos missile out. out someone's too high there's no need to be that high whoever you are you should all be under 100 feet now I'm at the next target. Matrix, Mars. Looking for the oil drums. Visual oil drums. I'm going to dump some bombs on the oil drums again. Cap climbing. I know I'm going to get a missile on me, but I've got reaction time to deal with it. Fuel I'm worried about as well. Oh, God. Three tons of fuel. Oh. This plane really does burn. Ah. Launch authorized. Bombs away. Please hit target. War dogs, oh. you have 10 and tell me direction. I'm so cool. Uh, Fire Dad, you are. Launch. 339 for 25. Guys, remember, you. remember your north to south attacks, please. Missile it'll, out. It will save your life. Launch authorized. 
All right, we're getting our eye in now. Good work, keep it going, guys. Socks at the target area. All right, Sock, join in. Be careful. Conservative attacks. One rocket per run or one press Launch per run. Authorized. Nice close attacks. Launch no spraying and praying. Authorized. God damn it! How did that miss? Launch authorized. Hello, little Mig. A simple Wimba. Launch authorized. Nine missiles fired. Eighteen million dollars. They're doing substantially better Launch on us than military terms going on Mr. Out. Alright, diving down. It's probably on me, but I'm yo-yoing. I'm diving down now. I'll ditch it. Last oil drums down. Ah. I'm just out for a nice leisurely stroll. Leisurely, not leisurely. Uh, I like the sound of leisurely. In an ideal world, we would dive down these on these targets at a high angle, Valley Viewers. It makes our weapons more accurate, but... We are not in an ideal world here. Oosh, she might want to uh, turn around here attacking wrong target. Oh, push! Launch. Concentrate. No, I'm going. I am concentrating. I'm going to run north to south. I can mm. see the target. Friggin' time. War dog, I'm out of targets Launch. left at our Authorized. area. Four Launch. targets. Authorized. Three Authorized. targets. Three targets. There's a line of three just south of the oil drums with the same orientation. Yep, 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 yep. Right, let's resist the urge to strafe them. Let's just pick them one by one. Nice, sufficient, calm shooting. Launch. I'm oh, sorry. Well, oh, I see him. Right next to them. Right next to him. Missile out. Probably on you, Push. Missile defeated. Fire dead's back in the AO. God damn it. Launch authorized. Rockets are going short, it's pissing me off. I'm going to guns. Try and guns out. Oh, guns are significantly better, guys. Launch authorized. Shack targets down. Alright. Oh. 270 on to. So we're on 60 miles, we're on 50 miles. 40 miles. Go, go, go. Launch it's going to take a while, authorized. Valley viewers, obviously, because the first thing I'm going to do is put some bombs on those. I can see all towers, all four remaining towers now, if I zoom in. Hello, did somebody drop some bombs short? Um, no, that, that was me firing rockets by mistake. What? And there was a MiG in front of me, and I just thought, oh god, please don't hit him. Because I'm going to put bombs on the ore rigs, uh, on the ore things, so if you can, just leave them for a second. Try and pick on little guys. I'm just trying to get the radio right, they're all over the place. Oh, Nob designed this mission. Oh, yeah, it was me. They're not in a line! What has enough fuel? Why didn't I put them in a friggin' line? Yeah, fuel's going to be a real problem. I'm down to two tons. Just got for like a seven. As we get rid of our bombs, we're going to so much lighter and easier to maneuver. Ah, oh, I'm having a real mare trying to get on a radio with these things. Hey, Cap. Timberwimba? Not to brag or anything, oh, but I'm at like 2.8 tons. How? Just how? All right. Uh, 80%. Bragging rights. Engine? Top killer. Oh, it's me! I'm so proud of me. Bird, only one point down. Matrix, keep killing, guys. My frog foot's at 500 kilograms. Um, why better? More than enough. Yeah. Launch. Oh Authorized. my god! I just did a thing. Guys. Um. Yeah, all the missiles launched on you. <laughs> that thing's fly by wire and I'm a Chinaman. I, um, I did a tum somersault in my plane. Didn't know I could do that. Do that again. Right. Well, uh, it's up to you guys, guys. Try not to screw up, I guess. Did you get the fuel tanks? I did not. Uh, Simba, you're going east to west exactly like I ordered you not to. That's the dead guy. Shut up. <laughs> right. Kill those things. Missiles out. They're exploding as soon as they come out. In fact, I shouldn't say that, should I? My boys are keeping low enough so far. My job now is going to be... Just keeping them in check, keeping them disciplined. Poach has already friggin' dead! What wasting missiles? Hollow tanks are down. Okay. Scoreboard. I'm gonna praise the guys that are good. Bird, you're doing well. Matrix, you're doing well. The rest of you fight harder. Be more accurate. Russian garbage. Shot bird. Put your freaking eye in. Yeah, you're doing well. Getting so much better, guys. Right. Oh, there's still one fuel tank. 
one fuel tank. Uh, it is break to the on it. west. It's the grey one. Simba's going to get it. Don't worry. That's not on fire. Don't probably. blow yourself up, Simba. That's enough. Just three vehicles now, guys. No pack twos are shooting, so you're doing all right. I'm going to go and have a quick look at the, uh, not the website, the break. Sam's site. Yeah, they are. Modernized. Pack two. That's a pack two there. Big Bertha. Pack three, which are horrendously expensive. Ah, oh, da da da. Those ones there. All right, guys, do well, or I'll start the beatings up again. Until morale improves. Until morale improves. That's exactly right, guys. They're kind of up along the side of the break. Derelict drums. Yeah, we're west going to east to west track. track. Yeah, you're going to have to go to east to west track now because you'll never see them otherwise. Nice, accurate, sexy shooting. Make sure it's sexy, guys. I want sexy. Let's not ask for any worse shooting than whoever just shot that. You're just saturating it. Simba took care of it. Sock took care of that. I think One Simba more. took care of me too. Jesus Christ, Bird, if you're dead, I'm going to kick off. You're fine. You, 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 oh, there it is. You lost the flat. Can I, just, fine. can I just kill Cap? You're fine. It's on the western side. SU 25 turns like a bucket. It does. So you can do yeah. long. Try long it without attacks. a flap. How many targets are left? One. One. Socks on it now. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Hold fire! 270, 10 miles. All right, here's where it starts kicking off, guys. You are now, uh, well, it depends how you really want to measure it, but you're now 30 miles from a Patriot, 20 miles from Irish SLS. Keep low, low, low. Else the beatings will get worse. All right, you will see it. Well, you're probably going to run out of fuel on this one. But if you do survive, we'll kind of restart it and skip to this one. So we've all got fresh fuel. The science we've done so far is we can easily kill a 60 mile target. We can easily kill a 50 miles target. We can easily, well, yeah, fairly easily kill a 40 mile target. That said, you could argue if they were firing back, it would be much harder. And yes, we're really interested in the, uh, the SAMs today. Feel free to attack the all directs, guys. Don't put too many rockets. 2.2 on fuel. Friggin' Simba's flying for Demon at the moment. He was out dogfighting everyone yesterday, and now he's not using any fuel. I think he needs to check his friggin' privilege. So I'm shooting so many f***ing rockets, whoever you are. God, it makes me so mad. One rocket per target. All you've done is upset them and move them. Oh, I swear, my blood pressure, guys. Pushes out of fuel. Right, well, you'll have to wait until the next round before you can come back in. Land it somewhere. I took out the rest of the uh, oil barracks, oil tanks. Small units to take out, boom, boom, boom. Not a single paint pack two's been fired at you, so you've got your attitude all sorted. Well, well done, guys. We got one launched. Matrix has got two more passes before RTB. Stop heading so high, guys. Eight units left there. Check. Gotcha, Cap. Yes, you did. How do I set my ripple numbers with a 25T? Make sure you do one little tap. Jack. Simba, keep doing it. Matrix Winchester, RTB. Matrix Winchester and... Got you again, Cap. Do more. It's in order. Gun's good for sniping. I like it. Five more. Oh, got it. Sock's got his eye in. Sock has got his freaking eye in. Jack. Shot. Three more. Guys are all out of fuel and shutting down, as you can see. Finish this off and we'll restart with the remaining break. Two bases, guys. Russia is operating with impunity. Now, yes, you would have probably, again, stingers and stuff at these sites here. But again, not what we're interested in today. Shack 2. You done it, guys. Pausing. All right, guys. We've killed four bases uh, with ease, to be honest, with traditional old school weapons. I'm going to reset now and we're going to go straight to base five. Welcome back, valued humans. Uh, we've started the server again, hence all the scores and stuff are back to zero. Uh, we've flown about 40 or 50 miles now, I think. We've only got two more bases to do, so we should have plenty of weapons. Radiation is starting. 
Visual. Alrighty then, let's go and do a thing. There's always no cover out here. Yep. Welcome to Ukraine. Launch authorized. Bottom shacks. Launch authorized. Remember, we're operating much closer, guys, and we're. Launch authorized. Good bomb. I'm in it. Could be the last two oil tanks. I'm on it now. Last oil tank down. Right. Launch authorized. Snipe those suckers, guys. Pack two out. Launch authorized. Launch authorized. Right, I think I've ditched it. Launch authorized. Launch authorized. Who is that climbing? I'm doing it, but I'll dump it, don't worry. You may you must have a death wish gap. Yeah, I immediately regret my decision, guys. I'm going straight into a evasion now. Launch authorized. Check. Missile dumped. And staying low. Launch authorized. Hey, I'm breaking this load. All missiles fired. Leave us alone. Let us know when you get shot, guys, and no respawning. And no respawning. Two trucks down on one gun strike. That's my boy. Launch authorized. Oh jeez, I almost blew myself up. Launch authorized. I have to operate so low now that. Nah, you wouldn't be that lucky. Launch authorized. Or target. Authorized. We dug us left, guys. We're doing good. No Patriot too. I'm surprised, guys. Pleasantly surprised that we're doing so well. Just shows you can have the best SAM system Launch in the world. Authorized. But if you fly around at 50 feet, like Ukrainian jets are doing at the moment, Launch authorized. they're not invulnerable, but. Launch authorized. A big S300, S400 just ain't much use. If we just authorized. Push. Oh, push oh, oh. down. You're down, you're out, push. Right, Patriots being effective, guys. Launch authorized. How many Launch units left? Let's pull out. Let's pull out. One unit. None. No, I think they're all gone now. They're all right. gone. Up, two seven last zero. One. Last one. Two seven zero. This one's got get bar support and Iris T. So flares, flares, flares. I'm right. This is the last one, isn't it, Wardog? Yes, last one. All right, here we go, guys. All right, this is good. This is where it gets really hard, Authorized. viewers, because service curvature becomes almost negated. I'm running in on the tanks. I should be able to kill them. God, I can friggin' pretty much see the Patriots from here. Problem with operating this low value. Oh god. Problem with operating this low value viewers is a friggin' farmer with his shotgun can shoot you down. Pretty much literally. Spike. Yeah, that's yep. a thing. Spike. That is the SLS. That's the Iris T tracking. The uh, giraffe radar. Ah, sugar. Ah, sugar. Flares, 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 flares. Good. Gepard firing, Gepard firing. Oh, dearie me. Cap evasive. Stick it in. Wiggle it about. Flares, flares. Oh, things are happening. IRST out. Leave me alone, IRST. Jets in my. Oh, bollocks! Why me? Damn it. Fine, whatever. Guys, you gotta fly real Let's freaking fly good. RST out. Oh dear. Oh Slots dearie out. me. Ah! Oh no! They're too good! Fire's out. Ah! Good job, bird! Well done. Bird, you're right with the freaking guitar. Don't do it, man! Nature here. Oh! Oh. oh! He killed it. Simba, I don't wanna be that guy, but it's only you. Do a good thing? So I'm going to give you one go on your own after this to see if you can take out Patriot's side. Oh, it's impossible. No, there we go. Um, answer. All are possible, even up to 20 miles are possible, due to simple curves curvature. They just can't shoot over there. But 10 miles, nothing could be dodged. I'm surprised we did so well. So I'm going to give you one life just to do an airspawn and try and take out Patriot's side of your choice. Off you go. Oh, can I go in in a chase plane? No, you can't. Absolutely, because your upset sucks and cheat. Uh, well done, Spike. I'm... 
um, slightly depressed at how well the Russians, with their 80s technology, that's all we're using here really, could operate fairly well against undefended targets up to 15, 20 miles. Is anyone else surprised by that? Because I am. Well, you're not factoring in the uh, superior level of competence and training of the uh, Grim Reapers, Cap. Um. <laughs> Whoa. How did you even say that with a straight face? <laughs> I feel dirty. Hey, to be fair, we did do evasion training yesterday, didn't we, guys? That's actually true. We did do it. Yep. <laughs> Guns evasion. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if we had Iglas around the area, how well we'd have done. Yeah, I mean, it would make it penetrable because you'd have high cover from Patriot and low cover from Igla. But, um, yeah. Today is really about operating against generic undefended targets with big Samnet cover, what would happen. So it just shows, however good systems get, nothing beats old Cold War style flying. Uh, well, that flying there. Nothing can kill it. Look how low he is. If he doesn't gear down, he'd be landing. Gepard, Gepard, Gepard! Gepard, Gepard, Gepard! Oh, ah, no good! No good, it's too good, guys. Alright. Is Modern Patriot bloody amazing? Yes, it is. And if we'd flown high, I would have showed you that. But it is actually still easy to beat as long as fly low and don't get within about 20 miles of them. Anything... Uh, to add to that slightly depressing science. Every Ukrainian in this part of the country is going to be armed, so... Every Ukrainian and his mother is going to be shooting shotguns at that distance, and some of those yeah. slugs will eventually get in the intake and kill the plane. So there are massive dangers at flying that low as well, plus generic dangers of just a lapse of concentration. Smack, you hit a tree. It is incredibly dangerous, obviously. You were obviously versed in this matrix. Yep. Anything to say about low flying and the dangers of it in in a cold war scenario well in the cold war scenario you had a massive sand presence so that's what forced you to fly low then you had the zsu's at low level which we consider the worst threat to us at low level mm -hmm. nowadays though with much more triple a because it's cheap and easy to use uh, and the sam systems are more expensive you tend to fly high with massive uh, sead support so maybe that'll be the next one we tackle at some point can russian siad take on this patriot system pactory is gonna make that very difficult obviously right i hope you enjoyed it otherwise viewers and we'll see you later